It's sometimes hard to explain to people, but the standard belief for children who've got a neurologic disability is, you know, there's going to be some recovery for the first few years of life. But basically, once you're three, what you see is what you get. And that leads to a whole systematic accommodation. Okay, take your child home and love him. Take your child home and do these exercises. But, you know, don't get your hopes up too high. And I'm a determined optimist, and I don't see the world that way. The baby brain is growing, it's developing, and it's got to have more possibility than an adult brain. And yet, if you look at the common wisdom, if I have a stroke, and it's a mild stroke, I've got a 30% shot at an absolute complete recovery. But a baby, in the common wisdom, with exactly the same level of early stroke, has CP for life. And that's just not logical. So I looked at the children who had a big brain lesion. They had bleed or they had ischemia in their brain. And we can see it very nicely on a scan. And then they went ahead and got well. And they recovered. And I have to admit, you know, it's, it's sort of embarrassing, but I had to admit when I was a young doctor, I sort of forgot everything that had taught me. And the whole surround was, look at how bad the cerebral palsy is. Look at this poor child with a paralyzed arm from a brachial plexus injury. I mean, I think the message to a parent after you've had a child who's at risk, remember that, that they're only at risk. It's not a definitive thing. You have to see how the brain grows and how the brain develops. And I think one of the major things that I learned was how wrong you can be in the first four years of life when, you, when the child, the poor little t babe, is sitting there trying to move against gravity with a damaged brain and an immature brain. You know, a three-year-old only has about 30% of their adult brain working. So it's damaged, it's immature, it, they don't have any backup systems that are working, and they do their best, and it's abnormal. But the same child who's abnormal in those first early years can be perfectly normal later because later skills they're going to learn with a recovered brain that is more mature. My philosophy is early brains do recover, early nerves, early nerve damage does recover, but habit hides it. And we have to look beyond that first four years of habit to see what the potential is.